Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from LearnColorGrading.com. While preparing a course about editing with DaVinci Resolve, I was wondering how low the specs of the editing machine can be, especially with Resolve supporting OpenCL now. So I tried to install Resolve on my MacBook Air mid-2013. This is a standard MacBook Air with nothing special. And weirdly enough, I can grade and edit on the MacBook Air. So if I come to this image and change the gain here, and maybe just lower the gamma, it's actually kind of responsive, which is extremely good news because it's gonna allow more and more uh, filmmakers to use DaVinci Resolve with lower specs machines. This footage is full HD. Uh, it was filmed with the Canon 6D. This comes with some restrictions. Uh, first of all, of course, Resolve needs at least a full HD uh, screen to run properly and uh, this MacBook Pro doesn't have an HD mode. So I had to download a software called QuickRes. So QuickRes uh, allows you to choose your uh, resolution on any Mac. Of course, it's a scaled resolution, but it, it runs smoothly. So currently I'm running a full HD uh, screen now on this MacBook Air. And of course, this only applies to laptops that supports at least OpenCL. So if you go to preferences and you go to the GPU section, you'll notice a drop-down menu where you can choose between OpenCL and CUDA. CUDA, of course, being the NVIDIA standard. So this machine happens to support uh, OpenCL. Uh, I tried to install it also on my wife's MacBook Air, which is uh, a 13 inch mid 2011, and uh, it wouldn't run because it's not compatible with OpenCL. Note that this doesn't mean that Resolve will run smoothly right out of the box you have to tweak some settings in order for this to work. So you have to understand how caching work and resolve, and you also must understand media optimization. There will be a full section about this in the course. But in a nutshell, the fastest way to do it is to go to settings here, go to general options, and change the settings here. So the uh, catch frame tool uh, should be a ProRes 422 proxy, and also the optimized media should be set to uh, proxy mode, so it's ProRes 422 proxy. Okay, and save these settings. Then you can go to the edit page. Of course, notice that I can scrub smoothly and I can play my uh, footage here. So I can edit my footage, trim. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of smooth actually. So the second thing you need to do is to come to your media files here. Choose all your media files, right click, and go to generate optimized media. After you're done with that, go to playback, render cache, and choose smart cache. Now, Resolve will spend some time uh, optimizing your media and rendering your cache, but once it's done, you can now edit using a, a very low power machine using DaVinci Resolve. Check the scrubbing here. It's just running smoothly. So, this is big news because uh, previously you needed a pretty powerful machine to run DaVinci Resolve. And Resolve is for free, so instead of you spending your money on your NLE, you can actually buy uh, a good machine to run Resolve on it. So please, if you have any experience with running Resolve on lower power machines now, just leave a comment below and let me know about your experience running uh, Resolve on a lower spec machine. Um, actually, this is unbelievable. We're just running Resolve now on a MacBook Air, which is just weird. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe.